This is Cyberhorn92 here, and I'm with who? Kevin Silva. And what's your record so far? Um, 4-1. I lost some time to Necros. Okay, and let's get started with the deck profile. Yeah, it's uh, Shadal Starship Seris, and I run two of each Shadal. And the one thing that's probably questionable is the double dragon, because dragon's pretty not so good against Necros, but I feel like it's really good for bouncing and uh, 19 strong. You never know, you can make plays off of it. Mm -hmm. Run three, six, three chairs. I didn't think I was gonna pull off at all today. Uh, not even one combo, but um, I pulled it off twice already today. So I think I ran out of luck there. Three math, three Baylor, Trishula, three Christia, EOS. Uh, MVP is Christia, of course. I've already won four games because of Christia. Dang. <laughs> it's just way too good of a card. Will you like change any of your monster line though? No? Not yet. I mean, Not yet. I might for the water shit all, but mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's too big of a change. Like, I'll have to take out all the star singers and stuff. Mm -hmm. And for the spell? I, I mean, like the defusions. Because um, if you should all fusion from your deck, you get instant access to Christia. Mm -hmm. And if you have it in your hand, you can, you know, should all fusion. And then uh, when they try and make a, a push or play, you have this in your back row. It's just like Call the Haunted Christia. So it's like two more Call the Haunted. And it's really good against the mirror match also? Yeah, yeah. it's good for the mirror match. I mean, I feel like the mirror match, if you just play like. If you just play like you always, if you just tribute for this, tribute for uh, Beast, you're always in a good spot. Mm -hmm. And that's all for the spells? And I have one more thing for the mirror match. One all more right. thing, and it's a trap card. Alright. Uh, I got this for the mirror match. Okay. So when we run out of Shadals, like usually mm -hmm. uh, the construct, losing uh, all of my constructs is my loss, but I just put the constructs back in some more Shadal monsters and then I can play <laughs> easily after that. Will you change any of your spells or trap or... Um, what I really wanted to up? add was Pero Pero, but I did. I wasn't sure what to take out. Mm -hmm. Like maybe uh, I don't know, maybe a defusion out for Pero Pero because I really need out to the uh, the, the Lock if I really need like if I'm mathematician. Mm -hmm. like, mathematician no longer an out to the Lock, but it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's fine. No one, no one Jin Lock me yet. I only placed one Necroz and I lost some time to it. So is that forty it, card in the? No, it's forty three cards. Forty three. All right. 43 cards. Just think of the the three Christias as added. All right. Um, and those are my least grows, Leo and Arcanite. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Lower Castell, Ixiton, Lisa Teller guys, and Orbos. It's, dang, that's I don't run good. the water guy. He's How? good, but he's good, but I don't have water access. Like it's a it's a light deck, so I mm -hmm. need the I need the constructs and stuff. I mean if I'm gonna summon the water guy, I'll land mm -hmm. his dweller. And, and no no water's on my side. People say they bring out the water guy with the core or something like that? Oh, well, the thing is, uh, Core is like, can't rely on this card. It's a trap card. It's mm -hmm. set in one turn, you have to wait. How often are you going to resolve Core? True. Not not too much nowadays. Mm -hmm. There's MST, there's, what, Galaxy Cyclone, there's there's Trishula, there's everything destroys back. Exiton, mm -hmm. just name it. Look, Arcanite, whatever. Mm -hmm. Everything destroys back rows now. Um, so, this, I only run for the Mirror Match. I mm -hmm. actually don't like this card at all. I, I would replace this with the water guy, no water should all if, uh, if I ran more water monsters. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I guess this guy's really good. And then these are pretty obvious, uh, self-explanatory because you need you need these two for the the chair and the stick. Mm -hmm. And these are probably like the best three. Yep. I wish I could run a uh, 101, but like I don't know, 101's like not very good. Anymore. True. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's very good. <laughs> but maybe if I was running torrential. And that's for the extra deck, and now the side deck. That's the team. Right. Yes. The Denko, the Maxis, the MSTs, the Dark Holes, and the Mistakes. Would you Pretty like? Would you like play like share a ride in your deck or another? Oh no, because because no. uh, I like. I like cards that can work with my Shadal Fusion. Mm -hmm. like these work with my Shadal Fusions, mm -hmm. and Shared Ride doesn't. Oh. That's pretty much the main reason why. I need I need monsters to always go off with the Shadal Fusions. Mm -hmm. I run so many Shadal Fusions that I need the, the answers. Like, if the deck doesn't flow, it's hard to win. True. Yeah, so this, um, this hurts me a lot. That's why I like side decks. Mm -hmm. um, would you like change any of your everything besides the Water Guy and... The, the Parapero? Yeah. Um, I wanted to run Compulse, but then I realized throughout the day already that it's not even good right now. Mm -hmm. So, I, I just like the pulse because, you know, like, chain the pulse to, they go Valor me and I chain the pulse. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, that's the only reason why. And, couple questions, um, where have you been, like, this past month, like, 
you weren't at ARG or YCS or... Well, I took an eight month break and I might take a little longer break, but I'll be back into it full time at ARG circuits if they still have them next year and YCS is and hopefully I'll win a couple more events for, for everyone. Um, will you be at National this year? I, I can't answer that yet. I'm not sure. All right. ARG 25,000 for sure in August. All right. I can't answer that yet. Um, how many tops you've been top like any events before? Like any event? My last top? Yeah. Was ARG Vegas with Heretical. That was my last top. Um, in 2014, March. Um, quick question. What did make you want to play this deck instead of Necrots or Cool Ford or should or should well, actually, I actually don't know what uh, Cool Ford's do anymore. Because I once Scout went to two, I'm like I don't know what that deck does mm -hmm. anymore. But I guess it like kind of draws it specials a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. And OTK. Uh, for Necros, uh, that's a skill player deck, and I just got back into it a few days ago. Mm -hmm. So I, I can't just get all my skill back into it in a few days. I actually know how to use Shadows, mm -hmm. so I actually invest all my time into Shadows, so that way I get get back into it faster. Mm -hmm. Um, anyone, anyone who hasn't played in a while understands what I mean when, yeah. when they're trying to get back into it quickly. Yeah. So yeah. Um, would you like to make any shout outs or anything? Shout outs to immediately uh, Star Strike Duelist for always keeping me updated and Alex Inch 95 and all the people in the group uh, Yu-Gi-Oh memes chat too. Mm -hmm. Gotta give a shout out to them because I don't have a Facebook anymore so I can't oh. connect with them. I gotta get all their phone numbers again. <laughs> shout out to you. Oh thanks. <laughs> um, Hold on, what, what do you like like about the deck of Shadal? This? Oh, yeah. because it pushes fast. I like pushing fast. I like putting a lot of pressure on the field. Mm -hmm. BLS, Christia, um, Orboros, you know, the Delteros. A lot of pressure on the field. Um, what's the downside about Shadal? The downside is uh, they're very weak monsters. Mm -hmm. So when they have cards like Deep Vision and Macro, it's very hard for you to come out of the situation, especially when you don't main deck stuff like this, like MSC. Um, like you can't really do anything when they when they do that. You need to like really draw well if they have macro defense or banisher. And then on top of that, um, when it comes to late game, and you run out of the shadows, mm -hmm. I don't know how you're supposed to win. Besides like hopefully double sacking for Christie at some point of the game. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, other than that, um, it's really strong. And uh, thanks for the interview and the deck profile. And good luck with your Swiss other. Rounds too. The five more rounds, thank you. Yeah. And Cyberhorn 92 is signing out.